Let's take a look at the heart in the torso model for just a moment. Notice that there is a right and a left brachiocephalic trunk receiving the internal jugular subclavian. Notice that there is an aortic ascending aorta. There's also an aortic arch. A little bit difficult to see, but this is the right brachiocephalic trunk giving rise to the common carotid artery and the subclavian artery. When I try to get my bearings on the heart, the first thing I look for is the pulmonary trunk. When I see that trunk moving up and over, I know I'm at the front, and then when I can see the auricles or the right and left atria, then I know that I'm on the front of the heart. Here's a right coronary artery, anterior descending artery, also called the widow maker, right ventricle, left ventricle. Let's see if we can take this apart and look inside of the heart for just a second. On the bottom part of the heart is the inferior vena cava, and along with the superior vena cava, it brings blood to the right atrium through the tri tricuspid valve to the right ventricle, through the pulmonary semilunar valve, pulmonary trunk, pulmonary arteries out to the lungs, and the pulmonary veins drain the blood back to the left atrium. Let's take a look at that for a sec. These are the pulmonary veins draining the blood back to the left atrium. So from the left atrium we go through the bicuspid to the left ventricle and then there's the aortic semilunar valve giving rise to the ascending aorta, the aortic arch. When we look around back, we can see the brachiocephalic artery, which gives rise to the right common carotid and the right subclavian. Then we see the left common carotid artery and then the left subclavian. And then this vessel right here, this is part of the arch of the aorta that will then give rise to the thoracic aorta, Notice you can also see the esophagus. It's easy to see the trachea. The carina is the point of bifurcation. Right and left primary bronchi. 